Well, that's a first. Everybody beat me to the car. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Um, I have a question to start today's video. What do you guys do about the whole bag thing? I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in Canada, they don't use plastic bags at Walmart anymore and some other stores as well. So you have to buy bags and they're like 33 cents a bag or something. Super expensive. So I've seen that so many people do different things. And what we do is we have buckets. We have these like plastic buckets. I take them in, I put them in my cart, not the dirty sock, Sophie. Um, and then I shop and I use these buckets. And I plan to get more. I have other ones that I really like to use. I just don't know where it is. I have these big yellow ones. But anyways, for now, this is what we use to do our grocery shopping. I like it, it works for us. So my question to you is what do you guys use? Do you still use plastic bags or something else? We're just headed to the grocery store, but I'm gonna do roll call. You guys beat me. So we got Gabby and Sophie. Hi, Molly. Um, you know the person who's on uh, the circle? The new episode's on of the circle? No. I found her account. Wow, are you a stalker now? No, it was on my For You page. Oh. <laughs> I found it. All right, I do not even understand what any of that was. That's a joy of being a mom. You never understand what your kids are saying. But we got Ruby, too. Do we have Ruby Roo? Ruby! Yep, she's there. We're headed to the grocery store. I don't know how come all the dogs are coming, but let's go, guys. So today, uh, the chickens are getting evicted. <laughs> they are going outside to their new little pen. Imagine if that was my finger. See, and I just try and catch these guys. They've been out here with no heat for the last few days. <laughs> Only putting a heat on when it's been really cold. Girly girl. Look, she's getting brown on her the tips of her wings. I think it's a boy. So this thing got knocked over. It's like, let me show you. Can you guys see it? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So I have this little thing that keeps the, the like separates these lilac bushes so that it's like a little decorative thing going into the chicken coop. Oh, you guys need water. Wow, and lots of branches fell on our thing during the tornado. I'm not exactly sure if it was a tornado, but I think it was. So we use this water bucket, they have that, and then we use this one, which needs to be cleaned and, and freshened up. I'm not in love with the design of this water bucket. It's really difficult to clean. You have to like take it all apart, put your hands in there, and it's got these grooves that make it even more difficult. And then you have to keep this little dial thing with you all the time because you have to use it to fill it and then you have to undo it. Ooh. Uh-oh, that's not good. And you have to have the lid super tight or else it floods. But anyway, I have to put it up on this thing so that it stays clean and so that it doesn't get unbalanced. If it gets unbalanced, then it leaks. So we have that water and then we have this water. This one's a lot easier to clean. There you go. Gracie's having her nap. Willow's like, I ate too much, you guys. Come get me. All right, this will be the true test. Look, she wants out. She's like, whoa, I ate too much. Did you eat way too much? Aww. Horses talk. Hello. Good girl. That's unusual though, I'm a bit worried. It is. Yeah. But not when she gets too full. If she gets too full, she's like, take me out of here, please. <laughs> Save me from myself. Sophie got hers and she still looks okay. She doesn't look super bloated. The reason that we usually wait a little bit longer is because the ground is still so soft. Molly! Oh, golly. I guess they all want to leave. <laughs> That is kind of terrifying. They're like, they're done. They're ready. You ready to go? 
They were all literally so ready to get off the grass. Isn't that funny though? Like, horses are weird. Hold on. Now that the horses are all shut out, you can see the shine. You can see the shine. You guys can't see it because of the sun. Penny, you started shedding very early. Yeah. Because all the rest of her horses. Yeah, ponies and horses shed out differently. Like miniatures shed out. It takes them a lot longer. Shiny. You can see it. You can kind of see it. And these two are not shiny. Yeah, they're not shiny yet. They're still, we shed them this morning. Look you are it. terrifying. <laughs> Sophie said that was kind of terrifying. Well, two horses galloping. Oh, I thought Penny looked beautiful. So she made me so happy. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So um, the girls and I are finishing this field today. We're gonna, Sophie and I are gonna go do some stuff with the chickens. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna clean out all the old hay from this field now so that it's all fresh for summer. As soon as uh, Sophie and I are done with the chickens, we're coming down here to clean up this field. Do you want to stay now or you want to wait until we come? Wait. Wait? All right. So I now... I did most of the work last time. All right. Well, you can do the less work this time. I'm coming to help. So I know from experience that after the horses are in the field for a while... They just sit here. They just sit here. They're like, ooh. Like a turkey Willow dinner. never comes when she's in that field. I know, I don't know what happened. Something happened, she it's weird. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Every time she gets too full, she's like, ugh, I can't. So my friend feeds her horses before she puts them out on the field, on the grass, so they don't gorge themselves. Because it's possible she gorged herself. I saw a few little tiny baby flies on them too. Well, it's like I can barely walk. <laughs> too much grass. Are you happy to be back in your in your shelter? Yeah. We have a whole indoor arena just for them. Penny looks so good, you guys. You can't see because the sun is shining. But me looking at her, she's so shiny and fresh looking, like glossy. It's all she gets oil in her feed. They all get oil in their feed. And she's looking so good. I'll watch Willow now because I get so nervous. Paranoid, I guess. I get paranoid when they do something that's not like them and leaving the field willingly it's just not like her. Whenever they do something unusual for them, I always like watch well, them. At the beginning that we're giving them grass. So yeah, like, we're weaning them onto it. I mean, the first time I couldn't even catch Willow. Yeah, the first time we couldn't catch her, the second time she's like, help me! We just saw a barn that was half ripped apart. The whole half of the roof was off. And I just found out today that it definitely was a tornado that touched down and not too far from here. Actually, it was far enough that you think that we wouldn't have had any damage, but we did have damage. We didn't have damage, but like a lot of places around us had damage. But yeah, it was a tornado in Uxbridge. I can't even believe it. Like, it just seems so crazy that we had a, a tornado here. And we were out in it, and we didn't even know. Like, sometimes I feel like if... They did an amber alert. No, we never they did, did an amber alert? Yeah. They did it. None of us yeah. got the amber alert. We didn't get the amber alert. Like we were in the barn and all of a sudden this wind came out of nowhere. Just like it came up, Sam was in the car and the car was like rocking back and forth. And I filmed, I had to close all the doors. So I filmed the horses out there with like all the rain pouring on them. And literally it was like probably even less than 10 minutes and it was just gone. It was so eerie though and it was so noisy. So crazy, but our horses, our two horses, our two of our horses were inside the barn the whole entire time. But yeah, it was insane. I can't believe they did an amber alert and we didn't even we didn't even get it. But I guess they probably did it like to the very specific area that was gonna get touched down on. Hi guys, we're at Lessons and so I'm with Sophie and we're gonna get her horse. And she's busy eating, eating and pooping. That could lead me back to those days when we were happy. We said the boy can't see. I'll call him Chancy. How about that? <laughs> he wants to eat. He wants to eat. Brandon told Gabby to watch out for the new pony in the field. So I'm going to check out the new pony. New pony in Chino's field. But Chino might get the new field again. <laughs> like managing horses is a lot of work. I'm still super grateful for Brandon though. Like, 
He is really good at managing fields, like the least bit of a problem. And he changes the horse, like horse's field and tries to find like a better fit and he keeps changing until they get the right fit. Chance is doing so good, you guys. And it's all because of Brandon. Chino has some pep in his step. <laughs> he is on grass, he, they, he's been on grass. It's an otter thingy, it hops. He saw Finn. Thought, and he just said ah! Chino has like got some grass in his step you know when they say horse has got some pep in his step look he's looking for he's looking for Finn okay. Jaffa sandwich strawberry phrase no strawberry mmm they look good mm -hmm. thanks LV you're welcome let me show you how different my two kids are kid one kid two These cookies are actually delicious. So our chiropractor's coming in extra visit. I asked her to come early so she can check out our new horse. He's so quiet and so calm and so many people are like so confused by that that I feel like we need to have everything checked out like our chiro, our vet, our he, massage. Okay, so I talked with the whip gently because I do not have my flag. It was very gentle. I looked for your flag. Couldn't find it was anything. in my locker. Can't find anything in your locker. It was on my saddlepad. You, you did not even go in the barn. Don't give me that. Did I, I look you, in her locker? Did I, I look in her locker? I saw you turn around and walk down there. I looked in her locker, didn't no, I? No, you did not. I got it on footage. No, I showed them not. your locker. He looks excited. So uh, we are changing fields so that Chance gets grass. Help with his weight gain. He'll get. He's going. Not yet. He hasn't, but he's going to. Because he's a young boy and he can handle grass and it'll help him. There's lots of good stuff in grass that horses need. So he's getting grass. He's going in the back. Yeah, so and then Chino's coming up to his old field, I think. Chance and his best friend, but I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to Brandon about that. And then, so Gabby already rode Chino to prep him for for Trillium, but she's doing lessons on this boy tonight. Yeah. Hi, Happy. Yeah, no, this is not going away, except for this. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't look too bad. Like, remember it's when- all yellow. Oh, look at his cuts, though. It's all yellow. See, that's not coming off. Yeah, but he still looks not bad compared to mud season. Wait. Remember mud season? Everybody's freaking out. You don't brush your horses. Yeah, you do not know mud season in Canada. Gabby, where's that spray I gave you? Where's that pad I saw? One white spot. It kind of really didn't get rid of that much. Oh no. Look at Chance. He keeps on peeking his head out, just like that, staring at me like, help me, help me. This is all I see all day. All right, tell them, Elizabeth. Tell them what happened to you. So I got a sunburn because all day I was at a football tournament and I came back with sunburn. Yep, and even her legs are sunburned and I feel like this is the same thing that happened like a week ago. And my legs like, really hurt really badly, so I took out. A great Elizabeth riding with Advil. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hi, handsome man. Wow, you're wearing cheetah print today. Hi, do you remember me? He's like, yes, I do. Storm is looking so good. Yeah. So big. Look how big you are. Mm, such a good boy. Julia's got cheetah print on him, and he's looking so good. When we get to the barn, it's just like all of us moms hanging out and chatting and spending time together and it's so fun like it's the girls social time because they all have friends here and then it's the parents social time too but i'm gonna pee before lessons what are you guys doing what are you looking <laughs> oh and then it's in there brandon was gonna put it in the vending machine like every year so you found all the stuff that you lost yeah. Ooh, good job who found it for you Me. No, he, Brandon he stole probably it. left it. And so Brandon confessed. Brandon was gonna put it. it in the vending machine. So yeah. if she wanted it back, she had to take it off. Anytime you lose something, Brandon usually puts it in the last stall where everything is for sale. If you leave stuff here, it goes for sale. Oh well, he didn't do that to me. So yeah, you got lucky. I was... no. Wait, 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 wait! This is the entire Brandon bunch. Let's see. Do a TikTok. Do a dance. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the 